Hello and welcome back to the farm. We've just finished sorting the calves out again today, for today. Um, 6610 is alive and we give it a jolly good wash and it's here now on the straw chopper. So that's where we'll leave that at the moment on the straw chopper. So that's all going and we'll keep that on there for now and it's just started raining the barley's doing quite well out there found a load of new nozzles for this sprayer because we're going to need that shortly so I've just been well, we've just been tinkering around with this getting it ready to go spraying when the crops come up so I'll just fold that back up so we'll leave that there for now so that sprayers all ready to go spraying when we need it I've also, uh, we have, I have been out and rolled the um, linseed, I did that a bit later on yesterday and yeah all that's been rolled in now so and I've just, I've washed this off this morning so I'm just about to put these rolls back Part them up for a while because we won't need them again for a little while now I don't think and they've had a good service as well we've gone over them oiled them all up and greased them up etc drop them off there and pop this tractor back for now so shortly we'll start having to have a look at this mower so I'm going to put that on the 6180 I think for when we go mowing on our bit of ground that we've rented down the road so we'll get that in the um, workshop next and I think there's some new blades in there we can put on there and give that a good look over before we go mowing so we're going to have to find something else to do for today so the car put up wow who's this that's someone from the local council Chellington council they wanted to speak to us about something. I've just told them to come apart round here in the shake because it's about looks like it's about to start raining quite heavy. So we'll go and see what they want. So that was quite a good chat we've just had with them. They're just leaving now. So basically, what they've just said is they've lost their contractor that does the dual carriageway, and they looking around local farms to see if anyone can take up the mowing on the dual carriageway mainly just the dual carriageway nowhere else really um, and they said they're happy to pay they said they want it to do it doing for two years at least so I've said we'll take it on because they're offering to pay £200,000 for two years and it only gets cut once or twice a year so 
we've just done all the paperwork with them and they said we'll have to come down to the yard and have a bit of highways training and we've got to get the suitable equipment to do the job there's got to be like highway spec stuff to do so well, they've been to every other farm in the area this was the last one and no one has got the time or can we bother doing it so we, we've just agreed to do it so it'll bring a little bit of money in anyway by the time we've bought the stuff and obviously if we pack up after the two years of doing that we can sell it again they've just said um, now we've done the paperwork the money will be in our account within the next hour and they want the first cut done in the next week or two so we're going to go and find the Chellington shop agricultural machinery place we're going to take a drive down there and have a chat to them and see what they can sort us out We'll just put that in the sat nav. Their address. Because I've never been there before. And we'll get off down there and I'll have a chat to them down the shop. So we're just arriving here now. So I think it will be alright just to park here and we'll go in there and have a word with them so we've just been having a good meeting with them seem quite friendly here they're convinced we should have a demo of a combine when we do our harvest I said we'll, we'll have to see about that um, and we think we've got all our bits to do this job we've got a brand new McConnell flail here which we just actually just bought now um, they do these signs as well um, obviously we want the grass cutting ones but they did us a deal with two, two of the um, hedge cutting ones as well so we've had all those signs so we've got to take them with us and they have actually got some old quite new front things that go on the front of tractors for hedge cutting and grass cutting here and we said we'll take the grass cutting one and we've ordered a tractor that's got to be the right sort of spec with all flashing lights and everything they've got flashing lights on anyway but uh, we've ordered something that's quite big and has got flashing lights which is all all this has cost about a hundred thousand pound so we've gained a hundred thousand pounds out of it or thereabouts but then we've got to do two years work so we've also bought a used trailer that they had here we were seeing what they had and we've bought this Eiffel Williams trailer just to chuck those signs in I think it would be useful to have we haven't got anything like this so it's always useful to have something like that <clears throat> if we want to come and pick up some feed or whatever so we'll put that trailer on the Land Rover and just chuck those signs in they said don't worry about the um, flail or the front thing they said that they'll put that on the tractor and they may even deliver it if they've got time So we'll just get this trailer hooked up. And we're 
chuck those signs in and go back home. So we'll just pull up here and put those signs in. So, nice those signs and we'll get off back home. So I'm back at the farm now. I've just unloaded my signs. And I've just popped that trailer in here for now. I haven't got much space for it around really where it's going to be sort of safe. You know, people like to nick them. So we've just popped that there. We did speak to them when we were down there about the Kubota and they said yeah it was pretty much brand new and they'd be willing to either take it or uh, exchange it possibly. So they said that they'll happily send someone up if they need someone to have a look at it uh, as to sort of how much it's going to be or what not. So we've just put our signs in here for now. Grass cutting ones and hedge cutting ones. Um, we've just put the mower here to start having a look at that. One thing I meant to do when I was down there was ask them about a muck fork and I totally forgot about that. But we're going to have to get that sorted out. But what I'm going to do now is just go and get the grain trailer because that's the only trailer we've got and put it around by the cars because we're going to have to start mucking them out but I need to sort out a muck fork I don't really want to use the grain, uh, the grain bucket Just go and put this around the other side. So we just put that at an angle there for now. And when we get a fork sorted out, we can muck them out. Because there's a little bit in there as you can see. So we'll leave that in there for a minute. So I'm just going to jump in the Land Rover and 
pop home quickly to go and get something to eat. We'll go in the garage there first and grab something. So I'll see you when I come back after dinner. So we're back at the um, farm now. I did call the shop and ask about a big muck fork, uh, which they had one in, so they've sent one up, someone up in a van with it. We paid over the phone and they've sent someone up with a new muck fork. So we've got that now. So we can go and muck the calves out. We can take this to the place just down the road when we get full trailer loads because they take manure because they use it to make compost down there. And they will buy it off us. a bit light on the back end well that was very light on the back Better shut that gate find somewhere to leave this fork for a minute so I think we just leave that here I don't know if we're going to want those bell spikes next, so I'll just leave that in here. And get back in the workshop for a minute. So we've just had a phone call from the farmer that we get the calves from, and they said, would, be, would we be willing to take four cows off them? Um, so we discussed the price and everything, and said yes. He said he'll send someone up with a stock trailer shortly with him. He said he'll bring them up for us. So we better get the yard littered up. So we've got plenty of straw there. So we'll use the straw chopper. We'll get the 6, 6, 10 round in a minute. I suppose I better put the um, bow spikes back on. So we're going to use a couple of bowels in there. Oh, something's not quite right there. <laughs> 